guys. Welcome back. It's me and Riley again. I'm Clayton. Riley. That's Riley. Maybe I'll start with my car and get that out of the way. Sure. I went cruising a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday. I ran a belt driven fuel pump, air motive. Uh, I can't remember the part number, but it's been a good unit. It's been on the car for like 15 years. Never had an issue with it. I was inserting a restrictor on the oil feed side on the turbo and I noticed that there was a drip on the floor from fuel so I got Riley to fire it up and it just started spraying <laughs> just, all over the yeah. all over the hot the hot side there so I'm not quite sure how we didn't burn the car down cruising but uh ended up phoning Air Motive and they were a little persistent but I ended up uh talking them into ordering me Craziest thing, if you ask me. I'll just get this out of the bag here. So this is here is the seal that came out of the pump that was in it. And uh, if you'll notice, in the O-ring groove, there is no O-ring. <laughs> so I don't know if over time fuel broke it down and it kind of just turned to jelly and flush through the carburetor. I don't know, I'm gonna pull the bowls off uh, probably tomorrow, just to make sure there's no O-ring remnants left in there, but Aeromotive ended up sending me two, and that's how it should like should should look like with the uh, O-ring oh, right on the there. sealer. So, cleaned it all up, everything looked really good. Other than that, I'm still confused where that O-ring <laughs> went because... That must have gone just as we were testing it when it started flooding like that. Well, oh, sure, but I mean, a whole O-ring, it's got nowhere to go. It's not going to just disappear. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. I really don't. Anyway, Aeromotive expedited me so a couple new seals. All went back together good. I was going to put it on tonight, but we got distracted with Riley's car. Yeah. And the reason we're getting ready is not uh, tomorrow's Friday, not this weekend, but next weekend. We're headed over to St. Andrews Airport at NPR uh, Dragway. And Riley is going to enter the real street class, yeah. which he's legal for, except you can't run, it's the eighth mile and you can't run faster than 650, so. Which, I was running 750 eighth mile last time. Yeah, as you've probably seen already, he ended up going 1166 at 119 mile an hour yeah. and in the quarter. <laughs> mile track and you ended up going 750 750 something, yeah 750, 750 something, something yeah. so we're about a second off the 650 yeah. index so we were at rob's last night and we had kind of talked about it before but rob ended up going into the rafters and dug up his old edelbrock nitrous kit and a couple solenoids obviously the regulator which we're going to plumb into his yeah, if I, I just need a couple more fittings, and uh, once that's all in place, we have everything in place here. We'll secure the solenoids to the inner fender here. That'll be good. It's just, it's just the uh, the nozzle type kit, obviously. I know they make the kit that goes has the spray bar behind the throttle body, but this was just what we had, so that's what we're going with. If Riley likes nitrous, maybe we'll get the proper plate. Yeah. So we need to also, I need to pick up a micro switch and mount that somehow, yeah. which should be easy peasy. I'll try and pick that and up tomorrow. Because it's still the 4L60 in here, which obviously isn't the strongest transmission. Sure it is. <laughs> what I've read some people do is they'll have a toggle switch uh, set to turn the nitrous off before the shift. So I might do that as well. I don't know, a toggle, maybe, or, maybe some sort button. of momentary switch. Yeah. Or, or computers uh, activated, but might turn the nitrous off before the shift just to try to save the tranny. We're getting and, close to the end of the season and, and Riley's, uh, because he wants to increase the power level next year with either nitrous. He was or, tossing around the idea of an LSA blower. Yeah, but I a think, lot of money for uh, Whipple. Yeah. Uh, well, Whipple or an LSA or whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, 
like I said, we're just gonna slap this in here so we're somewhat competitive for yeah. the for the real street class here. So like I say, we got I'm gonna pick up some fittings tomorrow, some pressure gauges, micro switch. Uh right now Rob had a 10 pound bottle in the car or 10 pound bottle that he gave us. I think another buddy here has a 15 pound bottle, which should be enough for the, a day of racing. So but we're just figuring out the uh Mounted. How we're gonna mount it to the trunk floor here? Run we'll bottle probably, warmer, obviously. We we'll probably have to drop the gas tank. To yeah, it's looking it's like lower. we could use self tappers through the floor. <laughs> no, we'll do it right. We'll drop the gas tank and nut and bolt the brackets down, and we'll do it right. So uh, tonight, I don't know. We're, we'll probably start. Are you taking the car tomorrow anywhere? Don't have to. Don't have to. I don't know. Maybe we'll start dropping the gas tank tonight and get that down and out of the way. So yeah. that's what we're going to be doing this week. Other than that, uh, yeah, he's been pounding miles out on his car. Oh, yeah. I haven't been doing much of the same, so he's made up for me yeah. this summer. But Enjoy. All right. So next time, uh, Rob's going to come out and I think help us with some wiring. Because as everyone knows, I don't like wiring. It's in favor. It's, it's his nitrous kit, so he's got to wire it for us. Maybe, or help us. <clears throat> Tell me what to do. All right. So we'll tune in probably tomorrow or uh, on the weekend and get this finished up. All right. So it's a couple days later. Is it done? I think you guys can see. And uh, so, yeah, what do we got down here, Riley? The solenoids mounted, the fuel and nitrous lines are all hooked up and checked for leaks. What, uh, what did we discover about running a uh, EFI fuel pressure through a, through a uh, low PSI fuel regulator? So, so we went and tested it with the low pressure regulator and it started leaking right away out the... Right out the top through the diaphragm. Yeah, so it could have been that it was old and had some stress already. We found like little pinholes and stuff in there. Um, or it could have been that from the 60 PSI from this regulator that it had just blown the diaphragm right apart. Yeah, so, so according to the Holly website, those are only like from 14 PSI to 4 PSI yeah. or whatever it is. You can run from with 60 PSI, if you put a smaller jet uh, in at the end, then you can you can use the 60 psi if you just have the right jet yeah i think it's and down to a down to a 28 jet on the fuel side yeah. that makes sense because on uh on rob's uh s10 with efi when he had that nitrous kit he just hooked the fuel into the schrader valve on the fuel rail so so rob actually had these uh bag of jets for each shot at 60 psi what you need and then Tells you everything you need, so. So we're starting with the 28 and the 46 for a 75 shot. That's yeah. a that's a first, good first my nitrous, my first nitrous hit. Yeah. Double check and triple check. That's the right one. We uh, went through, check for leaks everywhere. We're good for leaks. We checked the arming switch uh, and hit the solenoid. It doesn't work. Arm it and of course it works. Almost mm -hmm. blew the nitrous line right out of my hand. So yeah, I don't know. You need to, we're gonna pull what? Four degrees out just to be safe? Yeah. And um, I'm gonna get some more gas and put a uh, octane booster in. Yeah, I don't know if this stuff works or not, but it's 25 bucks Canadian, but I got a jug of this. It's supposed to treat 40 liters VP. It's supposed to bring it up eight points for 40 liters. So right there. I figured what the hell. A little extra insurance. And then for I couldn't find the any additive for the 4L60 though. <laughs> they don't make anything. What were you gonna say? Uh and then yeah, for tonight, we're just gonna test uh only in second year, just not shift it yet. I'm still gonna see uh, what I can do in the tune to preserve the transmission a bit there. Yeah, he's just gonna stab it. 
from uh, from second gear. So see what that does. Next time we're uh, cameras on, we'll make a little hit. Yeah. All right. So uh, Riley's just about to do a little drive-by here. I think we got the tune where we want it. stumble there but we never did hook a purge solenoid up so I don't know if that's to be expected might try another hit here and uh, I like that lines purge I don't know seem to do something well maybe shut it off so uh, how'd that go so it felt good might have sprayed through the shift so I'm gonna check here uh just that kind of was focused on going straight and didn't um let off in time but i noticed when i push my toe in and click the button on the throttle body like the motor kind of hesitated for yeah a second. it sounded like it had maybe a, just a slight little lean spike or well or, or would have been should have been rich yeah, so but then it seemed to catch and you know it pulled yeah I'm gonna see what happened in the log. Yeah, well, look at that log. All right, well, didn't, no rods out of it, and the hood's still on it.